guys, it's Kiggly again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got Androix, yeah I really don't know how to pronounce that, 5 for Galaxy S3. Now this one has been around for a long time and the basic functionality, well the basic thing that this is promoting is the look of it. Okay, now this one runs a um, UI called Fluid UI 4.5 at least in this thing okay so let's get into the ROM now first of all what you will see is the standard lock screen of CyanogenMod. mod this is CM based ROM so you will find all the features um, very similar well exactly same as the CyanogenMod mod releases so it's nothing special but you can see the UI is different you can see icons are different um, everything else is different it does have a few extra apps which I will uh, get into later Let's get into the settings now. First of all, in the settings menu, you can see that it is all themed. Uh, let's get into the about phone page. In the about phone page, you can see it is. Uh, it ha does have signage and more statistics. Um, 4.4.2 is the thing that is KitKat. You can see Android. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> also, the um, puzzle thing, which um, is the Easter egg. You can see the mascot for the Android is here so you can see that uh, this is the developers thing this is the boot and yeah I'll get into that later so yeah you do have a lot of options there it is v5 uh, uh, it is released on 27 March 2014 so it is kind of the latest version for our device now so that's pretty good huh let's get into the other features now that is it in the about phone thing um, in the personalization features now again this is basically silent and mod with a skin on top of it but the skin is different it's not just the theme function it does have other theme function you can use other theme but I don't see the reason why um, in the lock screen options you can see it does have screen security the standard things um, custom widgets custom camera widget etc uh, button action slider shortcut which is a four-way slider you can have that so a lot of options there maximize widget clock widget which is the C clock which comes with cyanogen mod so you do have that you do have that also interface settings is the best feature of cyanogen mod, I guess so you do have status bar options you, you can enable or disable clock you can have the battery status style as icon portrait icon landscape etc etc even hidden um, show battery status percentage so it is showing 87 percentage and yeah uh, I'll get into that later uh, the battery life uh, show notification count that's pretty good um, double tap to sleep so pretty neat Quick setting panel, it does have the standard energy mode, uh, quick setting with the camera, which is, well, probably my favorite feature of it, but it does lack the styles option, you cannot change the uh, number of tiles per row, so that's something of a turn off for me, so you do have that. Notification drawer, you can enable quick access menu, which is quick access ribbons, which is this one, you can actually link it to the um, quick setting, or you can have your own layout for that, so yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, auto close behavior in for the notification drawer expanded desktop you all know you all probably know what that is by now it's a kitkat function so yeah that is it in the personalization options uh, apart from that everything else is similar and same as any other kitkat rom you do have electron beam uh, animation style for screen of animation etc etc you have a lot of options there well again it's same as the science mod with an added bling yeah that's what I would call it um, uh, apart from that you do have vibration intensity etc it's pretty cool um, yeah that is it in the ROM now something which I want to uh, tell you guys before flashing the ROM if you flash the ROM and do not flash the G apps it this will not work correctly the home button and the quick setting button will not work correctly and it will have a lot of problems also, you need to flash the Akindroix uh, G app, specific G app. You can ha it, it does have a minimal G apps and the full G apps. You have to uh, flash the specific G app because I have tried Banks G apps and Slim Rom G apps. It didn't work out. It gave me tons of force close issues. So yeah, just a warning before you flash this. Uh, apart from that this is similar uh, you can see everything uh, the icons are changed but still the system apps are uh, basically the KitKat app so nothing special in that the camera used is the normal science mode camera which yeah, it's not the best camera which you can you could have used you the slim rom camera is much better uh, you do have the 
patch version available for that so you can just flash it over this one to get it working it does have easy voice recorder uh, app installed so that you can have a better style of voice recorder rather than the Gen mode one uh, it can direct wallpaper is another app which is included which you, by which you can um, select other wallpapers from the developers so you do have a lot of them you can also go to their forum via this one nitrox s option and uh, you can get the wallpapers from there so you can see nitrox developer i do have network connectivity it does require network connectivity um, services includes um, wallpapers etc official wallpapers so you can go to their forum to get other wallpapers so that is pretty cool this option this thing is just yeah I, my network connection is not the strongest one in the world so yeah apart from that uh, there's nothing much going on it does have my file explorer mi file explorer which is the mi ui stuff uh, it is really good uh, well if i had to pref uh, i had a preference for a stock file explorer this would have been the one so you can have that it does come with titanium backup so that's really good uh, it does have the normal super su super user script which is available in um, the science and mod versions it does have torch which is well basic stuff you do have a lot of options there so yeah that is it in the features section again this is not a feature rich rom this is a themed cyanogen mod rom so you can expect all the features of cyanogen mod rom with again a bit of bling i'll show you guys the boot animation which is really cool here is the boot animation which i absolutely love this is a minimal boot animation which is really cool it shows you the name of the rom so that's really cool so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, this is, there isn't much to show in this ROM basically because it's a theme Sanjan mod ROM, which is really cool. Um, again, the battery life. I found this battery life, the battery life in this one, to be pretty awesome. Um, it's way better than the Sanjan mod um, releases. Well, I haven't tried out the latest Sanjan mod, but this one had a good, great battery life with the screen on and with the screen off. So yeah, do check this out if this works for you uh, with the stock kernel, of course. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time.